Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I style this one bag and this one shoe in multiple ways with multiple outfits. I'm going to give you the intel on my New Year's Eve makeup, my New Year's nails, and everything I wore, and all the outfits that I'm going to be styling in this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and happy and prosperous New Year so far. And let's get into the video. Yeah. Side note and totally unrelated, but is that not a good bum though? Is that not a good firm bum? Oh my gosh, I love it. Thick girls. Okay guys, so this is my first look. I know, it's a little unconventional. It's a little like 70s, late 70s, 80s. But I just, I thought this jacket was everything. Oh my gosh, guys. Do you see the shine in this jacket though? Oh my gosh, this jacket is everything to me. Oh my gosh, it does have a little slit in here which gives it a little bit of like sexy dimension. I love the strong shoulders in here. I got this in, in like, I don't know, I think this was an extra large so that it just fits loose. Underneath of here, I have on these sea queen pants. This outfit is everything. And I actually saw the mannequin styled like this. I'm not sure if you can see all of that, but um, yeah, the mannequin was actually styled like this without a bra. I just did not want to tape up my breast right now because, come on, I feel like that's just a little bit too much right now for how I feel. So instead of taping up my boobs, I just decided to like wear my Savage X Fenty bralette. It kind of just looks like that. Just so that, you know, all my stuff isn't out. These sequin pants have fringes on them like look at that that is look how cute these pants are just check out these pants though these pants oh my gosh everything everything and they're double lined inside so not rough on the skin in any way shape or form oh i didn't get to show you guys look at my makeup for today today is actually new year's eve look at my makeup how cute how cute am i oh, literally look at my makeup did it myself. This is the Aqua palette from e.l.f. I've had this palette for years. I just put some bedazzled on. I'm wearing my Glossier lip gloss with, with Groupie from Lancome and the liner that I got from Wet n Wild. And these earrings I had for maybe three plus years. I think I probably picked them up at Walmart sometime when I lived in Maryland. And my nails just match everything. My bun is a little puffy, but it's a New Year's look. It's a New Year's vibe. You get the vibe, right? But oh my gosh, this is a New Year's vibe. And I'm gonna show you guys how I would style this up. Cause you know, these videos are styling videos, more or less haul. They're not really hauls, but they're haul styling videos. And I love this outfit. I love how it was styled on the mannequin. This jacket is just giving me, I, I just feel like a powerful woman in this jacket. If I was gonna wear it, I would definitely tape up my boots. I just don't wanna do that right now, you know, because I only have one boot tape left. I'm not gonna waste it on a haul, not today. But if you wanted to close this, I'm sure you could just like pin this here so that you're not showing off too much if you wanted to be a little bit more modest. Um, I think the jacket is in itself is modest because it has a large fit. You don't have to get it at this fit. This jacket could also double as like a dress if you got it in a smaller size, you would just have to cinch in the waist. But this jacket is giving me all the vibes. All the best. Not to mention the little cute slit in it. You know, I like tiny details like that. The buttons are covered. I love that because if you're gonna have a slick jacket like this, the button needs to have the fabric of the jacket. You know what I mean? You don't want something that's like popping out at you. You want something sleek and like well tailored. It has these kind of like lapel type things. I don't know what you call these pocket folds. And then of course the actual lapels. I love this jacket and the pant is nothing less. I think I got a big size in this. It's just a little bit bigger than I am. It's like a little bit bigger than me, but it's still, dude, it's still a nice pant. Beautiful, beautiful, sexy, gorgeous. And I'm gonna style it over here and show you guys how I would wear this whole outfit, okay?
this is the second outfit. I kept the pants, but I throwed on this cowl neck bedazzled strap top with the same sequin pant. I think this is very cute. I kept it on my bra just because, like I said, I don't want to be taping up my boobs. And my strapless bra is completely detectable if I should wear it because it's like off-white or cream or something like that. So I thought I would just keep on this bra, which kind of works with this because it's a bralette and not a bra because I completely kind of like stopped wearing bra and I've just opted for all these like Fenty Beauty bralettes because they're more comfortable. I feel like this works. It's kind of like silky, which is cute. It has some details in the back that looks like that, which is also cute. This is a more like sophisticated sophisticated look. I mean, the other one was sophisticated, but it was more like high fashion-y, which I love. I love a structured blazer like that. But this is like more low-key, more like a little office party with a little bit of sexiness. You could throw the jacket over this. Let me see what that would look like. Like that could be a look, but I think if you're gonna wear a cow neck, I think jacket should be more like outerwear, something that you take off when you go to the party because this is where everything is happening. The bejewel straps and the cow neck action. Just in case you want to give a little bit of cleavage with this. Now all my jewelry I've had for years on end, I really try to take care of my jewelry. And I have, I have this little piece that I've gotten some time ago somewhere. I feel like it could also be a cute piece to add to this. I'm not sure. Um, I would totally take off my necklace, but I'm not going to take it off for this video. I'm just going to keep it on. But you see what I mean? If you wanted to like hunk it up a little bit, you could wear something like this, which is kind of like a choker. But if I was personally wearing this outfit, I probably wouldn't wear this because this is like too edgy. This would go perfect for the first outfit. But for the second one, I think, I think just like cute earrings because you already have this going on. So you really wouldn't need to add too much to it. Just like a little lady bits, but I think this is just adorable. I'm gonna show you the look in a second. I didn't buy this particular shirt for this outfit. If you wanted to, I'm sure you could like opt for something a little bit more modest just in case like you're not that risky at your like office New Year's party or any year's party in general because this has a sense of like corporate but like cool and like festive in the New Year's like festive season. So if you're not the cow neck girl, you could totally be this. I would opt for something like this if I was thinking about being a little bit more like, you know, real bad depending on the vibe and the feeling and what you're trying to express with your fashion. This is a more like modest look on like the New Year's office party or you're going for like a New Year's dinner with friends. Like if you're not the gal for the jacket or for the cowl neck, this is a good look. This is a silk button down from H&M. It has a little slit detail. It's not really a slit. It's just because the buttons end here. So it gives you a little bit more opening so that you're, you can breathe, your arms can breathe. I like the shininess of the material because it complements the pants, you know, shiny, shiny. You could wear your makeup a little bit more matte, but if you're a glowy girl like me, just doing your makeup just as regular could work for this. I like this outfit. This is like nice corporate like dinner party or more like friends, we're out with friends, we're at a very formal dinner with our friends. This could work for that. So I also like this. And I wanted to mention that not all your New Year's parties are going to be on New Year's Eve so I know I'm gonna be putting this up on New Year's Eve but not all of your parties for the New Year's season is going to be on New Year's Eve so you have the opportunity to either order these or pick these up some people have birthdays in January these are great birthday outfits as well I don't know about you but I like something that just looks structured and very like model-esque or kind of looking like fresh off the runway that is kind of my style something a little avant-garde but a little like boho 
whole flower child-esque like my style is of varying like dimensions and varying like styles I would say Okay guys, so I thought for the New Year's you also need like that New Year's sexy dress, you know what I mean? And I didn't mention, I was inspired by the Adams Family <laughs> to do like this all black with bedazzled jewelry for the New Year's. I don't know, I really like the Adams Family series. I watched it when I was a kid growing up. I've always kind of been like a fan of the Adams Family but not like a fanatic, you know what I mean? I watched it, I enjoyed it. it was memorable and I held memories about it. So I'm thinking this dress is, well, I need to give you like the full scope of the dress. It is indeed a mini and I thought it's a little bit bigger than me. Like you can see here, there's like lots of space here, but just imagine being at the bar with a martini in this cute little number. And of course you could definitely wear this as an outerwear piece and not as an outfit piece to cover up just in case you're at a place where it's a little bit chillier and you can also wear tights with this for um, your winter like layer if you wanted to let's see what this looks like with the jacket over it if I was gonna wear this with the jacket I would just put it over so that you know it is keeping me warm versus like a part of the outfit if you know what I mean and then I would definitely wear my blush here kind of like this cute right it's like very cute I'm gonna show you it without this. This is a good look if you wanna wear your little black dress on New Year's Day. I kept on my bra because it is support, but you don't have to wear a bra with this if your boobs are a little bit perkier or if you have boob tape or like a strapless bra, you can definitely wear that with this. I would definitely have to get a black or nude strapless bra if I was gonna wear this out for New Year's Eve, but I would definitely like a little bit more cinch. Like I have so much material back here that much that I would definitely want this to be cinched in like three to four inches just so that it holds in at the perfect place you know what I mean and give my butt my buttocks just a little bit of definition do need to work on the butt though but you see what I mean cute a little black number I mean come on like on years with these earrings and if you wanted to jazz it up you could wear that choker with it like I showed you Let's just see how that would look personally speaking this is just an option for all the gals that are just a little bit more edgy and want to, you know, I personally wouldn't wear this with this because I would like to go a little bit more, a little bit more sophisticated and a little bit more toned out if I was gonna wear a dress like this. I feel like something like this is just a little bit too much, you know, for me at least. If And it depends on where I'm going. If, I, if this is like, we're going to the club with the girls, you know, then I may or may not wear this because, you know, it's up with the girls but if I was going to a dinner party definitely not if I was going like on a date with somebody definitely not wearing something edgy like this I would definitely just want to keep it as simple as possible and I personally feel comfortable without it you know and maybe just like earrings and maybe something dainty or nothing on the neck you know what I mean because I already have bejeweled um, straps earring and something that's just a little bit more bejeweled here so i wouldn't want to add too much and plus the shoes are also bejeweled as well so it, it would just be a little bit too much and overkill for me but um i absolutely love this dress i wish the dress just held me in and snatched me for dear life like if this dress was snatching me if, if it had like a corset section here that just held in the girl you know and just just like made the butt look like more protruding. You could not talk to me. You just could not talk to me. You you cannot talk to me actually. You just could not, okay? Because I'd be walking in on dinner just like, you know, slow motion. <laughs> slow motion for them. 
you know what I mean? Just a slow motion. You just have to take me in, you know? But I definitely, absolutely, positively love this dress. I wish it fit me more snatchy, if that's a word. Maybe I just made up that word. Give me some credit if I did. This is basically how I would style it with the jacket over just to enter the party, okay? But the hostess would take the jacket for me as I come through the door. So you would definitely get the whole, the whole vibe of the dress. Like I love a little black dress. It's just, it's a classic for everything, especially for New Year's with the bejewels. Yes. <laughs> so let me show you guys the whole outfit. Yeah. to wear this top I thought this outfit is just a little bit more like you know modest the pant is a lot bigger than me maybe like four or five sizes bigger than I am so I'm trying to like hold it in like that because that is the fit that I would want to have just like something high-waisted I wonder if I could pin this like this probably would if I could something hold this like this let me let me try to find something okay so i managed to find something to hold it in just a little bit more but i don't know if you can see that material it's kind of like bejeweled but kind of like i don't know it's like the metal speckles in the fabric is woven in the fabric as well it's very pretty i love how the light reflects off of it and it's very stretchy but it leaves room for you to show off something nice on the foot like the shoe that I have. It just touches your ankle, if you know what I mean. It's not really coming past my ankle. I don't know how I can show you guys. It's just touching the ankle. I don't know if that was too extra or whatever, but um, I just wanted to show you that. If you had like a shoe like I have here that wraps around and give a little bit of detail, and you can wrap the shoes however you want it to. I mean, you could wrap it cross, you do cross and then back to give it kind of like a chain effect in the front. You could play with like your accessories to just like make it more interesting Thing, if you know what I mean. And I thought these pants were just the cutest. They don't have pockets, but I thought this was more like a laid back, more modest outfit for the festive New Year season. I would totally wear this even if I wasn't a mom, but like if I was having dinner, right? With the family and you know, my children are there, my new husband's there. I probably am in and out of the kitchen helping the cooks and everything. This would be my outfit, you know what I mean? White, of course, silk. Some Thing bedazzled and bejeweled. What I'm trying to say is this would be the perfect mom outfit. Sexy, cool, laid back, reserved, but really classy and really sexy. You know what I mean? And these pants are easy to like slip in and out of just in case, you know, you and the husband wanted to. Forget what I'm saying. Just forget all that. I I'm just creating the backstory for this outfit. I can't wait to have my three children and the new husband and you know wearing an outfit like this on the new years and like bringing the food to the table and you know giving the family members winks and tickling the children and just like being cool and then later on in the night when all the kids are down and we're you know all the adults are out I may wear something else or slip into the dress and go out to have some drinks or to hang out with friends or to go to another friend's like party. All I'm saying is that I can't wait to wear this mom outfit because, excuse me, Am I extra or what? I'm giving you a backstory for the outfit. Like, I don't know. If that's not extra, I don't know who's extra. Like, can't wait for these kids to come. <laughs> 
don't you get the vibe what I'm saying, right? And you don't even have to be a mom to like, just like flex in this outfit. Like, come on. The cool girl can put on this for New Year's and still look really cool, even though she's wearing like peered back stuff. I think it's a cool outfit for anybody. The pants and the reflecting of the light off the silk and the jewelry, it's giving everything for this outfit, okay? Like, what? Oh, did I show you guys? I'm wearing like the Hailey Bieber glazed donut nails. That's what we're doing for the New Year's, okay? But I'm going to show you guys the whole like outfit and it's a look and it's a vibe. And then also the bun, the low bun for this look. Do you know what I mean? Like, and this is a good like office party look as well. I don't know, I'm feeling that I can't wait to be a mom. I can't wait to like have the new husband and the glass house and just like, Okay, I'm ready for the husband and the children. Okay. All right, I'm I'm too extra. Yeah. another outfit with the same pants and the bedazzled cowl neck strappy top from earlier. This is also a nice cute New Year's Eve, New Year's party, party season, rolling in the New Year's vibe. It's a little bit more paired back and a little less like out there in your face, but you have some cute details here like the cowl neck, the bedazzled straps. Okay guys, this is the last look that I have for you for this festive season. This is a frilled dress. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't wait to show you guys the bottom of this dress. Actually, let me show you right now. What? What? Oh my gosh, look how... Honestly, right now I feel like a 50s princess. Like a, I don't know what era this is. Like a, like the pinup girl era with these like dresses with the frills at the end. Oh. I absolutely love this. I wish it came in just a little bit more to just accentuate my hips because I do have wider hips, you know, I have wide hips. So I like when my dresses cinch me in at the waist to accentuate my shape because I do have a nice shape on me. Can't wait to lose all this weight and get back into like a more slender body. I'm beautiful right now and I love this body, but girl, we transform, we continue to transform. And I absolutely, love this dress i love the line of it it is a spaghetti strap i just want to show you guys that detail so that you don't get misled by my savage expensive bra um it is a spaghetti strap so you can wear a bra under here or you could wear boob tapes you could get away with like a spaghetti strap bra if you have one but i would recommend boob tape or like a v strapless bra that could also work for this guys look at all this sea queen is just everything oh my Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I think this is the season for Sea Queen, honey. This is the season for Sea Queen, okay? Or Sea Queen, or whatever you wanna call it. I absolutely love this dress. I have nothing bad to say about it. I love the fringe detail at the bottom. This is a cute dress. Let me show you the back. Kinda looks like that. So it's a lower back, so you get to show off the back a little bit. I've been trying to put in this tag, but it just won't go in. I just want you guys to see the back without the tag. That's the back. It's like a lower back detail. Love that about the dress. And I love the V cut. It's really, really sexy. Kind of give you a little bit of cleavage action. I absolutely love this dress. The best part of the dress for me is the frill detail. I just love that it has movement. It has movement because of the sequin and how the light will reflect off of the sequin especially in like beautiful lighting and then the frills at the bottom and the frills also have sequins on them so it's just like it's just such a multi-dimensional dress this is my favorite piece and if it gets too cold and you actually wanted to cover yourself up you could wear the jacket over this to stay a little bit warm this is a good way to wear it just so that you know it's, it's a jacket now it's not like a part of the outfit but it's a part of the outfit you know what I mean it's not a layering piece, I'm sorry. It's more of like 
it's the jacket, you know? The hostess will take the jacket as you enter the party so that you can show off your very cute dress. Now, if you're going out where there's going to be lighting and all that kind of stuff, you could wear the choker that I showed earlier. I don't know, I still feel like I wouldn't wear that choker in any of these outfits. I would wear the choker if I, like say I was dressing something down and I wanted to amp it up a little bit. Like say I was wearing the sea queen pants and I wanted to dress it down with like clean white tee or a t-shirt with something written on it like happy new years then i would wear a choker because then the choker would add a dimension to the outfit but with something like this you want something cute maybe like a diamond-esque necklace and bejeweled earrings like this i wouldn't i wouldn't try to edge this up with a choker i would just wear this very classy like this honey mm. Mm, honey honey girl i feel like a lady in this dress Yes. <laughs> okay. I love this dress. Now, just in case I've just been like, when my vocabulary isn't huge when I'm describing things, just know I'm, there's things that I need to go do right now, okay? <laughs> So I'm just just trying to get this video shot so that I can edit it and upload it today But oh my gosh, I absolutely love I love this a lot. I'm going to show you guys how I style it Yeah to say whatever you wear this new year's this like holiday party season i hope you look good you feel confident and that you're rocking whatever it is that you're wearing i hope you guys are enjoying these fashion me fashion s content on my channel because guys as you know i love fashion i love expressing myself with clothes i'm hoping to find more brands that create pieces that i will appreciate and that i want to wear and show to you guys 2022 was a whirlwind and i'm hoping that you guys have a wonderful happy prosperous adventurous creative new year i'm hoping that all your wishes and intentions and your wildest dreams manifest into this 2023 guys it has been a struggle for a lot of us and i just want you guys to know that it, it only gets better you know hold on to even if it's the minuscule amount of hope that you can like hold on to hold on to it because without hope what is there to live for you know what i mean and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this h&m holiday party season fall styling video and i just hope you guys have a wonderful prosperous enjoyable conscious and aware new year happy holidays happy new year and ah, i'm excited <laughs> So again, my name is Sadia. This is my channel, Beauty in All Places. Come back for more content and please subscribe. If you like my content, please subscribe. It would really help me out a lot and I would really appreciate if you also hit that like button and the bell button as well because I'm trying to post twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So guys, thank you for watching and have a wonderful and prosperous new year. Bye.